Welcome to the Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Week Number Five, and I stress Number Five podcast show. We have the 1999 Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Champ, Matt Zuber, on the line. Hello, everyone. All right, Matt. Let's get right to it. Matt, 98 points scored on week five setting a franchise record breaking your old record from 1994 week one versus the midnight auto what are your thoughts about your explosive team this week this past week i feel great about it um i clicked on all cylinders it was a team effort uh when you score 98 points it Obviously, you have to have everybody score, except for my second-round pick, um, Kelsey. But that's another story. But anyway, yeah, no, it was a team effort. Um, I was glad to see it. I want to. I hope it sustains. Awesome. All right, Lamar Jackson and Kirk Cousins combined forty-eight points. Brian's entire team scored fifty-nine. Let's talk about your recent acquisitions of Worthy and Brian Robinson Jr., both productive in your victory, and in last week, too. Talk talk to us through that. Well, I, I, I saw that the, uh, the, the Washington team has been coming on. Um, I, they have a good quarterback. Um, I want to get a piece of that team, and I went out and did that. Um, obviously, the the person that I had in, he wasn't doing the job. I had to plug somebody in that was. Sorry, it's a uh, it's it, it, it's a what you've done for me lately league, and that's what I had to run with. Okay, G man. Now this is a true story for anybody that's listening. I did have a conversation and a text conversation with Matt on October fifth, Saturday. The anniversary date of the Back to the Future flux capacitor lightning hitting the clock tower at 10.05. Matt, can you just walk us through that text conversation and what you actually said to me, either on the phone or in person? Yeah, I said 88 gigawatts. And your response was, if you score 88 points, I will give you my Back to the Future diecast car. And you did say that you were confident in scoring 88 points, correct? Correct. And looks like you did it, and then some. Correct. I went over, I went over 10 over, so. So that is a record for week five, guaranteeing 88 points on Back to the Future, Hill Valley, 88 gigawatts. So that will go into the record books. Somebody would have to score 95 plus points to beat that record. 96 plus, 99 points, a little more. All right, G Men, you're 2 2 and 1. You're right in the middle of it for a wild card spot, a little far back from the cycles as of now. What are your thoughts on your team moving forward after five weeks of action? A team solid. Uh... spots or anything. I like my running backs. Uh, I like my wide receivers. Uh, kicking is solid. I just need to, I, I just need to uh, go out there and uh, just perform on the field. All right, G men. That's an impressive, impressive outlook. Now, moving forward, you're playing against your arch rival, the King Reaper. He's two and three. Got a close win last week. What are your thoughts about your upcoming matchup against King Reaper? To be honest with you, um, I have I looked at the matchups. I think I have an excellent chance to to roll. Um, I, I mean, my matchups this week I think are very good. Um, I do have some bye weeks, but that'll get filled in. Um, yeah, I think. My 
matchups will be very. I think I can win. All right. G Man, this part of the show. Parting shots, trash talk. Anything specific to the league or any specific GM that you want to trash talk with? Not particularly. I'm just, just, just going before, uh, just, just, just going forward that, you know what? G Man's not going away. All right. I'm still going to be there. I'm going to be there to the end. And that goes for any GM that's out there. I'm a tough out no matter what. Okay, there you go. Matt's G-Men. And Matt, what is the key component on getting on this show every week? Score the most points. Hey. And that's what I did. Yes, you did. 98 points tied for fourth most in the history of the league. You almost scored 100 points. And that was a pretty impressive victory. As you move on now to divisional games coming up. All right, G-Man, thank you for letting us uh, join us for the show. Appreciate it. Good luck the rest of the season, and I'm sure we'll see you on this podcast again.